Hi, this is Leslie Poston from Magnitude Media, at Leslie on Twitter. I get a lot of people asking me about Facebook privacy settings, and they have changed um, yet again now that everyone is getting timeline. So I thought I would make a quick video showing you how to set all of your privacy settings. You're going to have to bear with me a little bit today. They're doing a road construction uh, on one side of my office. And as you can hear, probably the cicadas are humming because it is fall here in New England. So we'll try and make this happen as clearly as possible. So what I have done is gone up to this little arrow in the upper right of my Facebook page and clicked on the words privacy settings to bring me to this window. I have this privacy um, for when I post set to custom uh, because I do change it with each post. Some posts I make public, some posts I make friends of friends, some posts I make private uh, to just friends on my wall. I have lists for work, um, which there's not many work people on those lists because I don't usually use Facebook for uh, business. I have family, friends, people who went to high school with me or college, that sort of thing. So that's why that is custom. And then we're going to scroll down. We're going to go to how you connect with people. So these are my settings. I like for friends of my friends to be able to find me. I like for friends of my friends to be able to put in my email address and find me. Friends of friends to send me Facebook requests. I have the messages set to just friends because I don't want strangers sending me Facebook uh, private email messages. It's um, not something I check every day, so that's why I have that setting that way. Then for timeline and tagging, I have it set so that no one can post things on my timeline. Uh, in this time of politics, we have an election coming up this year. Uh, politics are a battleground and my friends are all very vocal on both sides of the political fence. So I didn't want my wall to turn into a, a bunch of political ads. Um, who can see what others post on my timeline? I have that set custom. I believe mine is currently friends except restricted or limited accounts. Review post people tag me in. I have that turned to on. That means if someone tags me at a place or in a picture or in a comment or in a post, it actually asks me to okay that appearing on my timeline. Then it says, who can see posts you've been taglined? This is custom, so I have um, friends except for limited profile. And review tags friends add to my own post is on. I, as you can tell, I always want to review the tags. And who sees tag suggestions when photos that look like you were posted? I don't like facial recognition. I'm very private, um, which is odd considering I'm in social media, but I, I am. So I have that set to no one. So that's done. Ads, apps, and websites. This is a tricky setting that Facebook has um, put out there that lets your friends violate your privacy for you. <laughs> so what this means um, is how your friends can share your information when they play a game, how your apps can share your information. So all of these apps, um, I have a whole bunch more, but all of these apps I have set that only I, I have it set to only me, uh, can see what they post. And you set that with this little pencil for each individual one. And my app list is 73 apps, so we're not going to go through it. But if you just click this pencil, it'll say only you, friends, friends of friends, mine is set to only me. If you hate apps altogether, you can actually click this button right here and turn them off. How people bring your info into apps that they use. This is a big one. This is a big deal. This is why people who play Mafia Wars and Cafe World and all those other uh, silly Zynga games are sharing your information without your knowledge. So you want to click on this. You want to make sure all of these are off except for this one. And the only reason this one is checked for me is because I do play Words with Friends and I do play Scramble and those two games won't work unless this button is checked. Otherwise, I would have that off as well. How uh, instant personalization works, that's another tricky little thing that Facebook puts in there that's designed to make your information public. So when you click on that, this video is going to pop up and it's going to try and convince you that making your information public is a good idea. Um, so we don't want to do that. So instant personalization, make sure that this little toggle switch is not checked. And then I just click the back button on my browser. Public search. This is whether or not your Facebook profile shows up in a Google search. I do not want to show up in a Google search for my Facebook profile. Facebook ads. This is another sneaky little thing Facebook does. This is uh, when you see your friends like 
uh, product or service, that's because they haven't gone in and done these settings. So I'm going to click Edit Third Party Ad Settings, and I have it set so no one can see my information. And I've already done that, so I don't have to save it. Edit Social Ad Setting. I have it set so no one can see my information. I don't want to show up as liking something, um, you know, a product or something like that. So that is the privacy settings. That's one of the ways that you can lock down your profile. And you can also go into your um, account settings, right? And that brings up this um, various places where you can uh, lock down your your profile even further, so everyone's getting to see my email address, but that's right, it's out there. And for security, I have secure browsing enabled, I have email notifications enabled, login approval at the moment. I am not requiring login approval because I am doing a lot of travel um, and I don't have a lot of time for the two-step authentication. However, I do usually have two-step authentication turned on here, which sends a code to my mobile phone when I log in from a new device, um, and that's how um, I prevent people from impersonating me online. Um, notifications. Uh, <laughs> getting to see some of my friends there. Sorry, I have uh, most of my notifications set to leave me alone. Subscribers, I actually have subscriptions turned off. I don't want people to be able to subscribe to my profile. That's another privacy violation. Uh, apps, you don't need to see. Again, they're set to only me. Um, payments, I do not enable Facebook payments. And we already went over Facebook ads. Now, one more thing, and that one more thing is how to mute someone who's particularly noisy in your stream. So we're going to use my friend C.C. Chapman as uh, the guinea pig today. When you hover over his post in your news feed, you see this little arrow pop up. When you click on that, you can report him for spam, which we don't want to do. CC never spams. You can change what you see from CC. So I have him set to most updates. He's usually valuable to me, so I want to see most of his updates. I could unsubscribe from him if I wanted to. I could unsubscribe from his Instagram activity if he posts too many pictures uh, for me. Or I could just hide all from Instagram. The other thing um, that this will let you do if you hover over someone's name and then over friends is put them on a list, right? So there's a whole bunch of uh, lists that you can choose from. Uh, you can change their newsfeed settings here as well, right? And this is the key part. If you're really annoyed at your friend's political commentary and you don't like their politics, or if they post 9 million baby pictures, or they play 87 games, you can actually turn things off. So I want to see his life events. I want to see his status updates. I love his photos. He's an excellent photographer. I don't really care about his game activity. He doesn't really have a lot of game activity. I do want to see his comments and likes. There are some people that I follow where I have turned their comments and likes off because they get a little um, out of hand. I do want to see you know, most of his activity. So then you just go back and that's it. You're done. It's that simple. That's how you take control of your Facebook experience. Happy Facebooking.